Hi guys, it's Angela with Cali Mom Collects and today I'm going to be doing the second half of that large box of jewelry from Shop Goodwill, Texas. And yeah, I tried to untangle some of it so we could kind of move through it a little bit quicker because I'd like to get it done in two parts, but I'm not gonna lie, there's still a huge, huge tangle of jewelry. Huge mess. So we'll see how it goes. We're just gonna see where we get with this. So hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for being here with me today. As always, if there's anything in the video that you guys are interested in, you could send me an email at Cali Mom Collects for number four you at gmail.com and I'll put it up on the screen for you guys. And let's see, what's the second half of this box? The first half was okay. Um, a couple cute pieces, but a lot of faded pieces. Hope I'm hoping that some of the good stuff settled to the bottom. So this is unique. Kind of has that clay look, but yeah, I don't know. It might be plastic. Very interesting. Yeah. All right, there's that. Definitely seeing some faded on this chain. Yeah, not a piece that I will be selling. Too much discoloration there. This is a cute heart ring. I'm not seeing any marks on it. It's it's little. It's a pinky ring. Hmm. No, it's it's a fashion ring, but it's cute. Cute little pinky ring. I will put the size up on the screen because I can't find my ring sizer. All right, this is unique. We've got some really neat glass beads on this. All these 3D. The wedding cake style with that 3D design. If you guys are not, oh, look at this bead is fading a little bit though. Shoot, gosh darn it. Look at those glass beads. This has got some cool elements on there. So yeah, if you are a reseller, especially of jewelry, you need to make yourself familiar with the wedding cake glass bead jewelry. It goes for a lot of money. And like these ones, they have a 3D design on the beads. They're really cool. Look them up on eBay and then look up the solds. You will be amazed. Pretty cool. So yeah, this one does have this one bead here has fading, but I would almost take this one off because the rest of it is still really cool. Cool piece. Not seeing any marks on this one. That one sits kind of nice on the finger though. Kind of wraps there. Is that a missing stone or just dirt? No, it's just, just a little dirty. The stone is there, it just needs to be cleaned up. And I didn't see any markings. It looks, it just looks to be a fashion ring. It's cute though. Uh, I think I remember these earrings. I still have everything. Oh yeah, there's those. These look like they might be silver. Look at these glass beads. 
the lever back earrings. It looks like it could be silver to me. Hmm. So it's got a wire down here. Let's check, let's check the No, they are not silver. Just cute glass bead earrings. I am in love with this. These are glass, glass beads. Look at these glass beads. It's kind of like a dusty opalescent pink, dusty rose pinkish color with white. This has a vintage look to it. Look at these pieces are totally set have in the setting here. A little bit dirty on the class, but I I actually really like this. Might be my favorite piece so far. Okay. Looks like it was a Halloween charm bracelet, but it's broken. And this is a cute brooch. I'm not seeing any marks on this, but this one's really nice. Okay, I like that. What is that? Baby Jesus. DreamWorks, 1998. I don't know. Doesn't look to be in the best of shape. Oh, look at the poinsettia. This does say something. I think this is an earring. We're gonna have to see if we find the other one of that and that does say something on it. Oh, I remember that one. Oh, the other poinsettia earring. We'll look at that. It's a ring. Little piece of something, little shell from something. This broke off of something. That's a cool cat's eye. Okay, these are other earrings. We will check out if we find the match. Beads. All right, let's look at these poinsettia earrings. Very cute. Oops, and they did say something on the back. Thailand, just says Thailand. So I will, perfect for Christmas, really good condition. I really like those. And then we have a little owl pendant. fashion ring and I remember these ones too there we go this looks like it could be a dyed stone pretty little rhinestone little hoop here looks like there's a little bit of fading or tarnishing going on there. No. Those are pretty though.
looks like we have some glass beads, maybe some stones and an orange rhinestone looking layer. It's like a toe ring, a little pink toe ring. Acrylic rhinestone ring. Iowa State Fair 2001. Disney Mickey Club. What year is on this one? Uh, it just says Disney Taiwan. Doesn't have a year. It's a cool vintage Disney pin. And that. Don't know. Okay. All right, I'm trying to figure this one out. It looks a little loose up here, but these are stones, I can tell. These are stones. This one looks like it needs to be restrung, but it looks like that those can be some garnets or amethyst. They're like that purple, then we got a green, and then that one. It's really cool. Really cool stone pieces, but it definitely is um, running a little loose here at the end. See where you see the wiring? It just needs to be rewired. This says Natasha. That brand does, does do pretty good. I have sold that brand before. But this necklace is looking a little rough. I don't know if it's dirty, if it's dirty or faded or both. So we will see if this cleans up or not. If it cleans up, it's a really cool piece, but we will have to see. It might just be a little kid's stretch. I don't know what that goes to. We're going to have a lot of little pieces at the bottom of the box. Oh, wait, I remember this one. More chunky clip earrings. A little bit of fading on those ones as well as those other ones we found. Ooh, those are pretty. What's that little pendant to? Well, that's really pretty, but I definitely see some type of fading back there. But I'm gonna put that aside. That little pendant. That'd be cool if that was a diamond, but. All right, earrings. Shoot. This looks like the Origami Owl. We'll see if there's any branding on here. Not seeing, it might just be like a generic in the top of the chain. Not looking so good. Okay. Little light stretch. To say there's a lot of writing on that little tiny tag oh, upside down accents by hallmark cards that's what it says and it is a little gold tone with little butterflies and little 
crystals inside the butterflies. Very good condition. Dainty little chain. Accents by Hallmark. No more pieces to that necklace from before. There's a pair. Wait, I remember these ones. I've got some big old chunky swirled green earrings. Those are big. Another little pendant, looks like a sun. And then we have these beaded earrings. This is a match. It just looks like little glass beads. Not seeing any marks on this, but this is one of the ones we Kind of pinch together. Oh, there might be a stone that goes in here. I've seen these before and there'd be like a little rose quartz heart or different colored um, stones that could go in here. So we will put this aside. Maybe we'll find the pieces to that. Oh yeah, we've got a Texas scarf clip. Vintage Texas scarf clip. All right, and then I remember these ones from before. So we have that matte gold with the faux pearls. Looking for brands. A little bit of fading on the sides here, I can see. I'm not seeing any brands. But there's those. This is unique. You don't see a lot of orange. What are these? This might be a dyed stone. Yeah, I think this is a dyed stone in glass. It's actually pretty if you like orange. And this is would be a pretty fall color. Okay, that's kind of cute. Faded stretch. I've got a wooden cross, came off of something. A little gold cross pin. Okay, I think all these are pieces to something. Put those in the craft box. Black hoops look to be in good condition. Big black hoops. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. It's not in good condition, but it's cool. Okay. 
hidden clasp and like the ruby red rhinestone there. These are faux pearls because I am seeing that, gosh, these are long, vintage. I love that ruby red with the pearls. This could even be worn in the front. But yeah, it's not in the best condition. Mm. We're gonna have a lot of earrings to go through after this. It is one of those magnetic pendants, R-A or P-A, R-A. One of the rhinestones is missing there. That's an easy fix. Alaska. Fredericksburg. San Diego, that's where I am. Bought a box of jewelry from Texas to get a San Diego pin. So this is a vintage bracelet and there is quite a bit of fading, no brands. It was cool at one point. Oh, we have another gold-plated leaf. This is a, that's actually a cute one. I haven't seen one like that before. These leaves were actually dipped in gold. You, if you do this, you will come across these at some point or another. Cross. Faded bangle. I like the clasp. That's a nice clasp. This is made well. That's actually a really pretty gold tone chain. It's very thick and substantial. Oh, I think my boys are home from baseball practice. It's about to get loud in my house. I might have to take a break. But this is cute. Yeah, this is very nice. <laughs> All right, I'll All be right, right back. I'm back. So this looks like Brighton. See the end caps there? And just the design, the scroll work on the silver. Oh yeah, there we go. The Brighton Heart Clasp. This is definitely a Brighton piece. There's no B, I don't see the B, but this is definitely a Brighton piece. And one way we can double check if you're, if you're ever in this situation where it doesn't have the B, the traditional Brighton B, you can test it. All Brighton jewelry is silver plated. I um, used to go into the Brighton store here often and I asked, I asked one of the ladies working there. It's a nice silver. So if this is a Brighton piece, this will be a real sterling silver plating on this. And it will show. And it is. This is a Brighton necklace. And it has the traditional Brighton heart clasp. It just didn't have the B. This is cute and it's in good condition. The black cordage. All right, that's a great piece. Happy about that. It's one of those touristy type pieces. The 
This looks like another one from Korea. Puffy hearts and black beads. Vintage Korea jewelry. Avon. That says Avon and we have a gold chain. It's in a couple knots. I will get those out. We have an Avon gold chain. Oh, here's the other puffy heart. The other one that we had, I believe was broken, wasn't it? More cufflinks, vintage cufflinks. piece to something. Now oh, that's a faded starfish pendant. Those look like these match the, the necklace we saw earlier. Hopefully it's a complete set. That would be cool. Don't know what this unicorn came to, but a C cardinal in gold. Is that South Carolina? More of these pendants. Another pendant off of something. This came off of something. Oh, that feels like glass. Beads. Beads and more earrings. I have a lot of earrings to go through. Right, we have a guitar pick. Somebody made this guitar pick into a pendant necklace. Broken faux pearl. Well, it's not broken, it's just overstretched. We have a Lucky Brand necklace. Lucky Brand actually sells good for me. I have actually sold something very similar to this. Not identical, but similar. So in this case, I'll probably look at my sold listings and find out what I sold it for. Probably, if I had to guess, $10 to $15. $9.99 to $14.99. Another That's probably what I would sell something like that for. Ooh. Okay, this is really pretty. What does this say? Nine two five L A T H, which is Thailand. Let's see if the chain is silver also. Um, I'm not positive on the chain. I see some type of muted writing, but then I also see clasps that are not like fused. And generally you don't see that in the silver pieces. Let's see. I do believe that the cross is for sure silver, but I'm not 100% on this chain. Yeah. I'm not thinking so. Okay, the cross is, the chain is not, and for this, I will take this cross off of the fake chain and put it on a sterling silver chain because I put those aside when I get a plain one. That That's cute, I like that cross. Oh, 
right, okay, where did that other one go? This is a set to that necklace from earlier. So that makes a complete set. Do you remember the necklace from the last, from the first part? Chunky gold hoops, very dirty though. This came off of something. This is faded and gross. I do remember that. We've got I Love You Hearts. Valentine's Day, those would be so, super cute. Clean those up a little bit. I remember those too, but I'm not seeing them right off the bat. Ooh, those are pretty. Okay, I'll push those aside for now. Wait. These don't look to be in the best of condition. It's pretty faded. Fashion ring. No marks, a little bit of fading. Not too bad though. <gasps> oh my goodness. This looks zuni. This totally looks like a zuni piece. Look at the turtle. The Zuni do that kind of, not mosaic design, but like that patchwork design in these traditional colors. That is so cool. That turtle is so cool. Let's see if the necklace is silver. Looks like there's a tarnish on it. I'm gonna check the necklace in the clasp. The clasp is sterling silver. It doesn't look like the necklace is. That's cool. I love the vintage Zuni Native American pieces and this is a cool one. This is a great find. Couldn't live without that one. Ooh, this is cool. Is this real silver? We've got a cowgirl charm bracelet. We gotta look closely at this. We've got the boots, we've got the horseshoe, we've got the horse, we've got the hat, and we've got the heart. I'm not thinking it is not silver, but it's cool. Very cool. We've got another horseshoe. This box definitely came from Texas, right? This is like a heavy black metal with purple rhinestones and then on a cordage here. If you're into horses, there you go. This is a cute necklace. Looks like a dragonfly. Looks like an Avon tag. Pretty sure that's Avon. Whenever you see that skinny oval tag, it is Avon. S A. Yeah, this is an this is an Avon piece. 
does it say Avon? It says S-A something, but this is definitely an Avon piece. Hmm. Not good. Okay, this is broken, but interesting. These beads, these glass beads that are wire wrapped here are really cool. Really cool. Bangle, a yucky old silver chain, nasty. Is this on a magnet? Yes, stuck to a magnet. I think this is an anklet, but it's not in the best condition craft. This doesn't look to be in the best condition. Really faded. That'll go into craft. Oh, the little mermaid. Oh my gosh, that was such a cute one. Let me see the date. It was one of my little sister's absolute favorite. Walt Disney, Arthur Bertrand. Doesn't have a date on there, but that's super cute. It's a pendant of some sort, I'm not sure. But I just saw those. I feel like something came off of here. It looks like a little piece of plastic. I think that there was something on these. And something came off of it. Oh, another one of the turquoise stretch. I'll put that with the other one. This also looks like a Brighton piece. Very pretty. It might be Brighton. It doesn't have the heart clasp. It has that that looks like Brighton. Let's do the silver test. That doesn't look like it. This just might be a fashion piece. It doesn't have the other Brighton. I don't think so. I think this is just a fashion piece. It has a, it's very cute though. It has a Brighton look. Brighton style, we'll call it. I kind of do see a little bit, but no, not enough to call it. We're just going to call this a fashion piece. Very cute, though, in good condition with the hearts and the pearls. We're starting to get through this box. Okay, we've got another one of these wire wrapped bracelets, cuff bracelets. We've got one of these wrap bracelets. I do really well with the wrap bracelets if they're the, the branded. Um, like the Chan Lu are amazing resell. And then also the Nakamole wrap bracelets are good, but the unbranded ones, not the best. It's cute, but resell value is just not there. For me, at least. Maybe you guys have a good look with them. I would say it's probably a $10, a $10 value. This is cool. This has that moon glow. More of a moon glow than a cat's eye. Okay. 
kind of like a neat yellow color. mixed metal danglies okay condition I'm not seeing like too much fading it's a fashion piece Ooh, I love this little cloisonne stud oh I hope we have the other one of those little charm this is a pendant. That's kind of cool, let's put that aside. Earrings, earrings. Oh, the, here's these pendants. Wait, no, I don't think it's supposed to be on the earring. Oh, here's another one of those. I do remember these earrings. The baguette, the baguette style. It's a gold post. Do you ever see a gold post? Look very closely. Might be gold earrings. The gold earrings always have the gold posts as well. I'm not seeing any marks on those, but they are really cute. Very nice earrings. Burger King. Burger King pin. All right, 500 of some sort. Never come across a Burger King pin. That's gross. All right. Lots of these little pendants, owls. This will all go into the craft box. Yeah. Okay, this looks amazing. It's broken though. Look at the beads. This is stone. This is definitely stone. Oh my goodness, I love this. This is made really nice, except for the fact that it, no wait, there is a, there's something there. F-A-S. F-A-S. I think I could fix this. Can you see where it just kind of came undone there? Wait. No. No, I cannot fix this. Something broke off. Or wait. Oh. Okay, hold on. This is the pendant. I'm figuring it out. Okay, because I can see the little piece here. This just needs to be rewrapped here, and then that is the pendant. Look at how gorgeous this piece is. I'm gonna work on this piece. I may even keep this piece. This is gorgeous. But that is how it's going to lay. Isn't that awesome? All right, now I'm gonna try to try to fix that. Oh, another scarf clip. And these going into the craft box. Oh, shoot. Gosh. Turn it. Alrighty, what else do we have? A little stretch. One of 
the magnetic hematite. It could be a bracelet or a necklace, however you'd like it. This was cute at one point, but it is very faded. Lots of cute little charms on this though. This will go into the craft box. Another one of these bracelets. I think that they, they were all different colors. One was gold, one was rose gold, and then this silver one. Probably sell those together. Faded bangles and a hook to an earring. <clears throat> Didn't we have a necklace in this? I am pretty sure this is the bracelet to a necklace that we had before. We will see. It's made well. It's nice. More of the liquid silver stuff. Oh, no, it's not. Nope, I take that back. It is not, my eyes are playing tricks. This is just a an older, I don't know what that says, maybe Korea? It's some verdigris on there, yeah, Korea. Old fashioned piece. So I think that this one, oh yeah, you could pull Nice thick chain, but there is, looks to be a little bit of <clears throat> fading, sorry. I don't see a brand. Okay, this is interesting. Look at these beads. Okay, this is long. Oh, it's got a hidden clasp. A little loose up here on the top. But it is still intact. It's a cool vintage piece. Unusual with these beads. I think these are acrylic. I don't know what these are. Almost feel like stone, but they're kind of light to be stone. So I don't know. Different. Rhinestone stretch. Looks like we have a little pearl necklace, but the clasp is tangled mess. It doesn't look to be real. Oh my goodness, it says sterling. It says sterling written out, so that is vintage. Whenever you see something that's sterling written out, it's more than likely a vintage piece, and it's got the vintage clasp here. I wasn't thinking so. The pearl doesn't look real. All right, I will untangle that later, but we have a little sterling silver chain with what looks like a faux pearl. Ooh, that's kind of cool. That looks like a stone. It's adjustable. It is adjustable, but Oh, nope, it's a fashion piece. Cool stone on there though. Wire, wired orthodontics, all right. I do remember that one, but. All right, those are cool. These are so cool. Has like the Asian, oop, minus the hair. 
the Asian pottery beads. That is awesome. I'm so into that. Hold on. Those could be sterling. No. No. They're not sterling. They're just cool. I will clean those posts up with some vinegar and that one might be a little scratched actually that bead right there looks scratched i still like them but i think they're cool oh i remember these lots of earrings okay these are cool these feel nice these feel really nice. And there is a designer that makes these earrings with the shell here. And for the life of me, I can't think of, but all of her earrings have this shell, kind of like her signature piece. If you guys know what I'm talking about, let me know. All right, let's try to get through the last bit of this box. So, feels like resin or plastic, some type of acrylic. It's big medallion-like piece. We have a pink stone. Luna drinking her water in the background. She's thirsty. So it's just a simple chain, a little ball chain, and a cute little pink stone. Nope. Not silver. And this is a cool glass piece. How does it go? Okay. Just pulls over the head. Kind of has these coral and brown colors. And then this tassel, but this big glass piece right here. There. Long. Looks like we have a tooth of some sort, but it almost looks mother of pearl. Can you see there's kind of like a sheen in there? It's definitely a swirl. It's a definitely a natural element here. And a vintage silver tone. Let's look. I don't see any marks. Nope, it's not. It's not. That's cool though. Beads. All right, this is cute. We've got the vintage vintage bead necklace with I don't know if it's ceramic. Feels heavier than wood. But the fruit pieces are really cool. Very unique piece. Real clasp. All right. 
Okay, I saw this one earlier. This is massive. This is a huge ball of halite, maybe. Look at that thing. With more smaller balls. Oh, that same designer. Pam Haran. What does that say? Pam Haran. Definitely a unique piece. The chain kind of has some darkening on it. it. It looked like it was like an antique brassy tone to begin with. But, all right, I think we are down. Let's see, down to this. Is this all earrings? Is that a basketball pin? Got a basketball pin. A hair clip. A D hair clip. Put all the earrings aside and then ring, no marks. That's a cute angel. That does say something. DM, initials DM95. And then it's it could be a pendant or a brooch. DM95, that's really cute. This is a pendant, a shell pendant. Let's see, earrings. Another fashion ring, little flowers. Tough under fire, master lock pin, okay. That's, this is broken. Dragon pendant. I don't see any marks and I do see some fading, but we've got a dragon pendant. We've got a little brooch, no marks. This looks like a pendant, quartz. San Jose. Okay. The rest earrings. We still gotta go through earrings. All right, this is another brooch. We've got a pendant. Looks pretty and I do see a mark. Avon. Okay. The Avon pendant. Stuck to my tablecloth. Little rhinestone bracelet that is missing a rhinestone. Piece to something. All right. Oh, a little angel pen. All right, the rest is earrings. Oh, oh wait, we already looked at this. We already looked at that. 
and we did never find the little piece to this. I had that set aside. Look at all these earrings. Let's see if I can put together matches fast. It's quite a bit of fading on those. I don't know what that went to. We've got cute Christmas trees. Those look to be in good condition. Those look vintage. Let's see the other one of those. These are dirty, but interesting. Let's see if I could get these cleaned up. Purple hoops, skinny purple hoops, hoops. Oh my gosh, my magnet is in there. I was like, why is this all clumped together? My magnet. None of those are precious metal. Silver hoops. God bless you. Those are cute silver hoops. I'll let you guys know. These are really cute in good condition. There's so much here to look at. Kind of blinding. What is this? It's what in the world? Kind of cool. Wonder if the other one's in there. Here's these. went to a necklace that we had. So did these. I don't see the other one though. We've got red shells. These almost look like quartz. I'll have to test those. It's moving a little bit. Those are cute. Crosses, chunky crosses. Those don't look good. Those.
These look like they came off of something. Hmm. Here's both of these, but these are gross. They are not doing good. I don't know, guys. No. Got some, these would have been good for Halloween. And I did see the other hook. Dracula. And a coffin earrings. All right. I think I'm going to push pause and match up some of the earrings, show you the last sets of earrings and then in this video. Right. I made matches with the last of the earrings, so let me go through these. And I'm not gonna do any testing right now, but I will let you know if any of these are silver. We got those cute little danglies. And please don't mind my fingers are dirty from all this jewelry. Cute little palm trees. Rhinestone earrings. These abalone style earrings. These little crystal drops. These, I believe, and I'm not certain, match that necklace. So those are cute. More little crystal drops, little Aurora Borealis there. These are also, they have a square. A really pretty emerald green color there. And a hematite. Simple silver drops. Big old crazy rhinestone hoops. These are thick. They do need to be cleaned up and I do have a little bit of hair in my hand. I got two backs. This looks like a real silver backing. But I'm gonna clean those up. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind, I'm missing. Little lime green crystal drops. Simple silver drops, and they have kind of like a hammered look on those. These kind of look like masks. Do you see a face there? I see a face, hematite. They have the nice backings, these may be silver. Long old brass tone leaves. These are pretty heavy. Little tiny gold hoops. More crystal drops. These have that vintage black onyx and diamond look. I don't think that they are. Yeah, I don't see any markings on them, but that's the look of these. Kind of cool looking. Big evil eye earrings. A 
Got the shell. These are cool. They're like a brass tone. Silver and like a blue. Rhinestone hoops. Let's see if all the rhinestones are there. Yep. Silver tassels. The hooks. This one hook is a little messed up. We'll see if I can fix it. If not, probably won't sell them. These are pretty crystal drops. Those little ones kind of look like they could be diamonds. Look a little closer at these ones. Let's see if I see any markings on them. I don't. Well, <clears throat> I'll test them and let you know if they are. Kind of cool looking. We have these. Little bezel set ones. It's a leaf. Glass. And then these ones I think are really cool. Ooh, I see something. Ah, these say 925. So we've got silver. With a little piece of abalone. Those are cool. I really like these. Okay, guys, that is it. I am not going to pull back my favorites this time because there's way too much from this video and the last video. So I am just going to end it here. Please remember, if there's anything that you saw that you would like, you can email me at callymomcollects for number 4 you at gmail.com. Thank you for staying with me through this huge haul box of jewelry from Texas and I hope you guys are all doing well and until next time guys thank you for watching bye